We back in the outer worlds permadeath. Nah, it's not a permadeath anymore. Maybe it is, who knows. We're back in the outer worlds. Murder on Eridanos, Eridanos. I pronounce it wrong every time, I'm sure. We got here some fancy people. Isabella Essery. Also, we took Nioka out this time for the wildlife observatory. Sorry, but we're a little busy right now. I'm sure one of the other guys would be happy to give you a tour. Lawrence, do you know who you're talking to? We always have time for the inspector. The inspector? That's you? I... I am so sorry. We didn't know what we were doing. We're so sorry. It'll never happen again. Mm. Exception. This seems like a strange spot to loiter. What are you doing? No law. It's all over. I told you someone would catch on sooner or later, Bell. Lawrence, let me do the talking here. Inspector, pay him no mind. I'm sure you've bigger saltuna to can than us. What do you mean by catch on? What did he mean by catch on? Don't pay him any mind, Inspector. His upper story's a little gap tooth, if you know what I mean. But no. seeing as you insist on sticking your... That is, since you're so curious, I'll fill you in on what we're doing. We, uh, misplaced some people on our last tour. Misplaced them in the maws of some local predators. Now we're stuck here wondering how to get their room keys. Oh. <sighs> So your guides, guides, were eaten by carrots. Might have been raptodons. <laughs> I find it hard to tell them apart, especially when my glasses get fogged up. Ah, oh, you got your guests killed, and all you care about is the room keys? Hey, we all got our priorities. Not worrying about those keys ain't gonna bring their owners back from the dead. Anyway, the sooner we get those keys back, the sooner we can make it look like the ex-guests checked out early. Ah, oh, you're trying to cover up the deaths of the missing guests. Wouldn't you? I mean, the dangers were all listed in fine print on the waivers they signed. Least they can do is not destroy our reputation when they get themselves killed. We knew sooner or later this was gonna happen. We've got some hush money tucked away. If you can get those keys for us, it's all yours. Ah, oh, say I got you... You, your keys. What's to stop me from telling your bosses what happened? You kidding? You're welcome to. Our bosses would want this situation resolved, just like us. We're the real victims here. The dead can't suffer anymore, but we can, and we will, if we have to pay for all these lost keys. Ah, oh, you guys look like you need a break. I'll find those keys for you. Did I just hear that right? The inspector is going to help us, Bill! Thank the stars! We're not out of the woods yet. Let's just see what happens before we celebrate. We last saw the guests deeper in the wilderness, Inspector. That'd be a good place to look. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back. Just I'll be back. I like her style. She's chill. Well, he's full of panic. Those outfits are weird. Just like every outfit pretty much in the game. And we're in the part where the goddamn music never finishes. I will not ask for guests. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's look for some keys. Map says... Uh, let's go up here and then to the right. What are you? Uh, tourist. Don't need to kill you. Lucky for you. Holy hell music. Can we have some combat music please? The hell is this? Doesn't look like it's in good health. There, the first one. Would be weird if we find it in the first spot, which is never the case. What is even out there? Wrap the dance. Did it run away? It did run away. Unexpected. 
Did somebody just shoot the dead corpse? Holy hell! Where's the goddamn spectrum gun? Okay, this looks cool. Oh, Reptodon, more Reptodons. Ah, no way I should bring up my snapper for those missions. So let's bring up my snapper. I can't find it. That seems to be good for robots. Oh. Okay, I get. There are three different spots where they died. Not something to kill. This looks good here. This looks good here. So let's get rid of the face cam. Finally. Oop. We got cactuses. Cactus eyes. Cactuses. Nice Damn it. Life here. Okay, now let's not worry about the spread. Let's worry about the raptor dance. Why do they look like they would turn hostile in a second? Cool tank. Oh, hello there. What's the map say? Let me guess, they turn on us. Let's just walk through. No? No? Nothing? Cool. Ah, I see something. Oh boy! Oh boy! That took away half my health. Half my health, damn it. Oof. That thing could have killed me. And those guys didn't help. Is that a shovel? That's a shovel. Someone has been buried here. Probably not a guide or a guest. Oh. The hell are you? Here we go. Look at us. Surviving, I uh, know. Catch ya! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, can't take all everything in heck. Oh hey, Candy Canyon! I know this place. It's where they did Free Range Fixer. Never heard of it. All I know is I need a shop. Damn it! And probably bad again. What's that effect? Is my leg broken? Phobic encumbered. 
Oh, perk, perk. No, can't. Just destroy something. The shovel. The shovel. Not enough. The hell is weighing me down so much? Is it all the food? It's probably that stuff. Drink something. Oh no. Okay, I abused the corner tactics. This area is deadly. I'm guessing the Raptodon phobia is what's killing me deeply inside. Duh, how much is fucking... Body, I need some body up day upgrades. Some body drinks. Mind attributes. Where do we have some body upgrade day body? Map. Now I can fast travel back here. Please. Please. Just, just let me. <laughs> Damn it, game. No, just there. Oh my god. Every time. You'll be moving on then. I'll be out of here as soon as I can, Gunther. It's Hunter. Hunter. Sakes alive, people these days have no respect for a corporate name change. Welcome back. Huh. Yeah, your partner. Oh, the body. Who the hell needs that? Where the hell did I even find that? That pistol had a lot of damage. Okay, where's the meat? It were brown, don't need it. Oh, God damn it, I could have sold that a long time ago. Ah, my bad. Is that? Yeah, that's also our call. Done. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh god. Next upgrade. Next perk needs to get into weight management. Pay me, you fools. Hey there. You find us those keys? Sure did. Looks like you're short a few. We're looking for four keys, Inspector. Really? Right behind you? You're kidding. I couldn't even get this one. Oh my god. I thought it's the quest giver. That key. Hey, look at that thing. I'm gonna look through that. Right now. That's cool. They build that for couples to go through. And I guess it's pretty useless now. Oh. Commander, you ever wonder why they put lights on our armor? No, Trooper. What about these tubes poking out everywhere? No. Trooper, stop asking stupid questions. Sorry, Commander. <laughs> uh, with it 
Wherever to come here. Hmm. I shouldn't just wander off. Holy hell, what the hell? Mantis saw us. Damn it. So I should switch it through anyways. Damn it. What is wrong with me? Here we go. Nice work. Is that a queen? No, it's just a drone. That's the weak spot. Don't mess with us. That's a nice little hut. In the wood. Hot, hot in the wood. Reminds me of Black Tail immediately. And Atomic Heart. A game I will never finish. F that game. And the Russian developers. Ah. Oh, it just those puzzles. Those puzzles, damn it. The most annoying thing ever. Nothing more annoying than those puzzles. Got them um, snake puzzle. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Okay, back there. If I can, come on, game. Please just don't, don't do this to me. Don't. Just every time, every time. God damn Christ. Hmm. Yeah. Mm, indeed. I need a sandwich. Already. Or oh, fish sticks. Hey there. You find us those keys? Yeah. That's all of them. You're a lifesaver and a half, Inspector. Lawrence, you got the bits? Let's see. Which pocket did I. Oh, they're in my hand. Here you are, Inspector. We'll make sure to put in a good word with our friends, too. I can't wait to put this behind us. What are you going to do now? We'll wait here a little longer and start clearing out their rooms when the shift changes. Not sure what we'll do with their belongings. Lawrence, we talked about this, remember? What belongings? Anyhow, thanks again, Inspector. Good luck with your investigation. You too. You can bunk in my penthouse if you want. No stealing though. No stealing. Ah. The, the, the hell phone. Ah, just random stuff. Okay, let's go there. I'll fold this my inventory. That's good. It's okay. I'm gonna go to the hunter shack then in a second again. Maybe we'll find even a bat. Right, Neoka? Nothing to say about this area? Okay, cool, cool. Candy Canyons. That screams. Screenshot to me. Like that? No. No, like, like that? Like that. That. Like that. Or with the hot. This also is recorded on the day before Trap Punk, Trap Punk comes out. Just need to finish this game up. Before I dive into something else. Okay, there's the entrance. That what a philosopher houses or the oracle abandoned timeline discrepancy detected nearby ah yeah. <sighs> identifying 
human footprints leading out into the wilderness. It is unusual for productivity disciples to wander more than a few feet from the camp. Ah, uh, just had four dead people wandered off. Good any idea who made them. Scanning. Checking database of shoe sizes and height weight ratios. Judging by footprint depressions and shoe size. These prints were either made by the Prophet of Profitability or Adjutant Sophia Akande. Error. Recalibrating. These footprints were made by the Prophet of Profitability. Guess we're gonna follow that. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Detected. Additional tracks belonging to the Prophet of Profitability. Prophet of Profitability. Oh boy. That's bad. Can we take them? What's afterwards? That stupid thing. Ah. Holy hell! No! No! That thing just went at us fast! Fast, I tell you. I could sell that gun actually. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Additional tracks belonging to the Prophet of Profitability. Oh, I hate that name. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh no. Judging by the shape of this indentation in the dirt, a person of medium height and build laid here for a number of hours, scanning for other details. Only additional signs of disturbance are a few marks in the dirt. Ah, perception. Am I imagining things, or does it seem like whoever was dumped here got up? No sign of struggle, or evidence of wildlife consumption of body. Suspected likelihood of user correctness, 86%. Mm. Mm -hmm. 22 minutes in. Oink. Strange. Let's keep this in mind. Nothing else here? Either the prophet or house in Helen. I mean, no, nah, it was the prophet. The thing said it's the prophet's footprints. So it's gotta be the prophet of profitability. Let's go inside then. See what's up. Ooh, audio glitch. House in Helen, that we know. We know. They even draw her body print. I'm sure this has a name in English. I don't know what it's called in German either. Captain, what is this place and why is everybody acting so strange? Oh, oh they ain't hippies. cannibals, right? Yeah, we had our run in with cannibals before. Okay, let's just. Swerve. Oh, yes. Repair. Oh, I could get rich of the refrigerator. Tinker armor first. I need to save money. Better my roof cold. So, let's keep it. Just in case. This, no, not everybody here is the name. Hello. Welcome to the Prophet of Profitability's private prosperity retreat. Stay positive, and soon all your humors will be balanced. 
At least that's what I keep telling myself. Uh, anyway, I'm Aaliyah, Aaliyah Mason. I work as the Prophet's right-hand woman. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, do you know the Prophet well? Of course. I've been studying under her for years. I know each of her techniques more or less by heart, and even have some variations of my own, such as the quintuple daily stomach purges. She's promised me that I'd be allowed to open my own branch of the retreat someday soon. Of course, I've been waiting on someday soon for coming up on four years now. I'm sure it's gonna happen any time now. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a nice person, not manipulative at all. Manipulian, manipulative, manipulative, no. Manipulant, maybe. Damn it. Anyways, for a positivity disciple, disciple, you sound a little less than infused. Oh, I'm terribly sorry if I gave you that impression. I had a cramp. It's better now. I mean, it might be nice if I had a little inclination of whether the Prophet appreciated all the cooking and cleaning and hours of meditation I do on a daily basis. But whatever she thinks isn't for me to question. I'll do my best to be more chipper. Ah, don't. That's too fake. What can you tell me about the retreat? If you felt imbalanced and unproductive, linger in your malaise no longer. We have all the amenities and practices for calming the ill humors strangling your potential. Sit for hours in our sweat house and sweat them out. Or stand amidst burning coals and feel your productive inhibitions burn away. And remember, think positive. Positivity equals productivity equals profitability. Well, in my case, I always think pessimistic and negative, and I'm productive as hell. I was hired to look into House and Helen's murder. I'm going to ask you a few questions. This seems like a sound or resort. Oh my. Yes, this is important enough for me to delay my bi-hourly self-flagellation. Ask away. Ah. The Prophet had some kind of feud with us in Helen, right? Yes, the circumstances there are quite unfortunate. For a time, the Prophet was completely despondent. Even the hot coal walks weren't booing her spirits as they usually do. However, we recently had a high-profile visitor whose presence seemed to alleviate whatever the Prophet's fears were. Ah, oh, Spencer Vorish. Oh, you must have misheard me. I said high profile, not had profile. Mr. Woolrich comes by much too often to be worth mentioning. Oh boy, everybody hates him. Ah, who was it then? Damn it. Who was it? I'm actually not entirely certain. It was a oh. surreptitious visit that stood out because it was surreptitious. Whoever it was must have paid the Prophet quite a lot to keep things quiet. At least that's the only reason I can think of for intentionally keeping things so hush-hush. Adjutant, have you noticed any unusual behavior in the retreat lately? Well, by and large, no. But something rather odd did happen regarding the Prophet recently. A few hours after our high-profile visitor arrived a couple of days ago, the Prophet asked me to take over sessions for the remainder of the day. At first I was excited, thought it was my chance to show her what I could do in charge. But then I saw that she was deeply worried about something. No one saw her until the next day. Ah, oh, what were you to tell of the moody? I was here, at the retreat in the company of the other disciples and clients. I rarely have more than a few minutes of alone time. Which is fine, of course. I do what I do in the service of the Prophet. Who will, I'm sure, reward me for my sacrifice? Eventually. Getting played, girl. Certainly. Yep. Certainly getting played. Actually, before you go, I want to report something suspicious. I noticed the Prophet dragging something, a bundle, away from the retreat after that high-profile guest arrived. Normally, I'm the one who does her laundry. So it was strange. Especially because whatever she was dragging seemed oddly human shaped. Ah. Oh. You sure it was a body? I think so. 
Had the right size and shape. Ah, oh, our St. Helen. Couldn't you have brought this information forward a little earlier? I could have, but I generally don't have the time or energy to lead the reserve to contact anyone. Plus, there's always the possibility that I'm mistaken. The Prophet hasn't been herself lately. But if I misinterpreted the situation and reported her improperly, I'd ruin my chances for opening my own wing of the retreat. Okay, so the Prophet seems very suspicious. About time somebody came the hell back. I notice you're not spattered in blood, which doesn't bode particularly well for you. I hope you're not about to tell me you lost your nerve. Ah, wrong guy. Lost my nerve. I understand those words individually, but not together. Hmm, you're rather unflappable, aren't you? I wish I were like that. Instead, I'm tense enough even when I don't have a dozen people not doing what I paid them to do. Pardon my tomfoolery, stranger. I see I've mistaken you for someone else. Victoria Foxworth, Rizzo's executive clerical actuator. Pleased to meet you. Might I ask what brings you to the reserve? Ah, oh, I'm investigating the murder of Foss and Helen, the trails brought me here. A professional, I see. I don't know anything about any murder, but you might be just who I'm looking for. There's a particular task that my hunters haven't yet been capable enough to complete. I wonder if you'd have any interest in it. Go on. As you may be aware, Slug currently owns the reserve, but it rightfully belongs to Rizzo's. There's an ex-Rizzo's employee currently in possession of the land grant for the entire complex, insult to injury from Slug, and evidence that this complex is rightfully ours. This particular individual is up there in years. His mind is failing. Leaving the land grant to him is like leaving it in the trash. I would like you to retrieve it. By killing this person, right? <sighs> Sounds like an easy payday, I mean. Solve the situation however you like, so long as you bring me the land grant. The target in question lives out in the woods, exactly where I'm not certain. Best of luck. I like her voice. It's deep and menacing. Very cool. It's dire, prophet of profitability. Green shot. The timeline discrepancy detected nearby. She looks like a extreme chunky. My friend, there's no need for that kind of behavior. Is it that thing? No, it's just glass. Was it outside the goddamn? Hmm. What? 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 Where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Fruitful and productive welcome, brother. I had a feeling you would visit me. I offer a wide variety of productivity seminars. I hope you'll consider taking one. Ah, but I should remember my manners. To what do I owe the pleasure of the special inspector's arrival? Ah. Oh. Nice little encampment you got there. Where do you indoctrinate people? We indoctrinate people in the back. Oh, ah, wait. That was a jive, wasn't it? With that said, I'd love to involve you in one of my productivity seminars. We should clear you of all those nasty, nasty humors hampering your potential. Guilty. You're guilty as hell, but that's not a, that's a hard pee, not a soft pee. Damn it. Humors. I don't like it when people laugh at me. Worry not. With my seminars, even someone of your immensely low intellect can succeed. As science has taught us, the body is made up of two things, flesh and humors. These humors are semi-fluids that, when improperly balanced, may cause you to function inadequately. By signing up for my seminars, 
you can balance these humors for only mildly inordinate and repeat payments. Cancellation mm. is subject to repercussions. Oh god, I don't like you. That's old Greek knowledge, I believe. Those humors. Ah. Uh, yeah, something about all this seems fishy as hell. No, I assure you, we all bathe semi-regularly. That's probably oh. just the compost heap we have our customers. Oh, seminar visitees, Lion. It promotes freeing oneself from one's body. But of course, no one needs subject themselves to such repercussions if they don't cancel. Regardless, can I interest you in a seminar? You seem full of crap, man. Ah. If I wanted some badly spread or a bice bratwurst, don't waste my time. Sprat oil? You... That is... We understand your decision and respect it. But those humors will cling to you. You'll find success with my seminars, or a quarter of your money back. Regardless, mm. I do understand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, don't try to sell me stuff. I followed your trail to where you dumped something in the wilderness. Oh, really? What did you find there? What did I dump? For profit, you've certainly made some bad decisions. Fess up. No, I think you're mistaken. There was nothing there, I suspect. And without evidence, I don't expect to be accosted further. I'm delighted to extend my desire to aid you, brother. How might I assist? So here's my theory. House in Hell is, is not that. She spoke to House in Helen, and uh, what she did was dump a substitute body over there that looked like House in Hell. That looked at House in Hell. You said you had no further interaction. A, du a double, a double. She switched her out with a double. She dumped her a double, a dead double. You said you had no further interaction with Helen before her dad. death, right? Yes, that's correct. She made it clear that my seminars were of no interest to her. Liar, I know Helen was here. Well, I suppose that does complicate things. Whatever the case, I didn't care to mention Helen's change in decision because she never showed up. I don't see how it matters. Ah. <sighs> Someone said they saw you dragging a human shaped lump into your yacht. Who said that? I'll be sure to give them a special seminar on not needlessly implicating the person who puts food on their table. It was a bundle of clothing, brother. Even productivity geniuses need to do laundry from time to time. Mm-hmm. Ah, the dirt imprint that I found outside suggests a heavier load being dragged like a body. I'd say that I have a lot of clothing. But I think you already know that we prophets only have a moderate amount of worldly possessions. I had a visitor, yes. But as it turned out, some of my productivity techniques were too much for them. I had to drag them out by hand. But their peers came and collected them shortly thereafter. I'm sure whichever attendee it was is perfectly safe now. Sure. I'm gonna ask you some questions about House in Hell. Please answer truthfully for once. Oh? I'm surprised. I wouldn't think the two of us would have much to discuss about her. We may have had some terse interactions before her death, which I most certainly regret. But beyond those... Well, never mind. What would you care to know? Ah, oh, You and Helen didn't get along, I hear. I wouldn't necessarily say that. The media tends to exaggerate. I will admit that her remarks about my seminars were rather unfortunate. However, I certainly wouldn't sharpen any sabers over it, if that's what you mean to imply. I only do that when my clients skimp on their bills. Ah, oh, how shady do you want to come across, lady? Did you contact Helen after you left the Grand Colonial? I did not. 
She had no interest in my seminars, and I had no interest in attempting to convert a stubborn actress. <laughs> Why would I have had any cause to engage with her further? Oh, all right, you terminal. I think real carefully before you lie to me again. Well, I suppose that does complicate things. Whatever the case, I didn't care to mention Helen's change in decision because she never showed up. I don't see how it matters. We had that conversation again. Holy hell. Oh, God. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analyze. Analysis suggests this to be a variety of herbs. Herbs have been uniformly treated with a pungent chemical mix. Warning. Ingesting, smoking, or inserting non-corporation sanctioned substances into your ears may be harmful to your health. Why well, my ears? Burning this would generate some pretty toxic smoke. Side effects from extended exposure include dizziness, nausea, and unconsciousness. Additional likelihood of organ shutdown and or death. Mm. I'm not gonna taste it. This prince of how would you... No. DA, how would these most likely be used? Prior analysis suggests these herbs reach peak effectiveness when users burn them and inhale the resulting smoke. Whether or not this increased effectiveness is good for an afflicted individual has yet to be determined. Can you analyze the chemical these herbs are treated with? Analyzing complete. Substance appears to be a mix of industrial solvents and various essential oils. Substances include woolly cow dander remover, sprat oil, and starship surface wax. Ah. Duh. Though the dry herbs are difficult to chew, the flavor is less bitter than you would have expected. It's woozy, like tripakale, tripakale with a signed aftertaste. It's actually slightly better tasting than your average can of Sotuna, though. So are most boots, boots, so are most I'm boots. Hypothesizing potential side effects from herb consumption. Most likely outcome, decapitation. Slight possibility of calculation error. All right, make a note. Anything else here? That we can peep, peep, peep at? Nope, that's it. Just those herbs. Okay, where does this track down the profit of... Oh, we're not done here. We're not done here. I... Uh, I've got some questions. You've got some interesting herbs in here. I'm pleased that you noticed. Excellent eye, brother. The compound they're treated with is my own invention. Designed to unlock an individual's true productive potential when burned. I can't say any more. Trade secrets, you know. That's probably not Alex. That gets you more productive and effective. They seem toxic. Toxic enough to potentially kill someone. Clever work, Inspector. It seems even I can't slide my way out of the trap you've so intricately weaved. I admit it. I killed Helen. By mistake. What? Helen changed her mind and wanted to attend one of my sessions. I, knowing the importance of the seminar, desired to truly galvanize her. Though not to stop her heart. So when it came time, I chose to double Helen's dosage of productivity-enhancing herbs. I left her to meditate, and when I returned, she was dead. After that, I entered a... Less than coherent state. One of my disciples, it seems, witnessed me as I dragged Helen's body out into the wilderness. Damn. You sure Helen was dead? I'm no medical professional, but that certainly seemed the case. Usually my customers at least writhe or mumble after a session. My productivity-enhancing herbs typically do induce sluggishness. But I suppose they must have been enough to do her in, if her constitution was truly that weak. Mm-hmm. It's her fault. Did you shoot the body at any time? 
Laws? No, I hate guns. If I ever wanted to kill someone on purpose, I would have used a blunt weapon. Nothing quite like clubbing someone over the head. <laughs> okay. The warden is you didn't dump the body at the Grand Colonial. Do you jest? The guests at the Colonial eat no shortage of strange things, but I think corpses are perhaps too strange. The creatures of the wilderness are much less picky. Oh, God. Besides, the hotel is ridiculously far. I couldn't have made it all that way without someone realizing I was dragging a corpse. Oh, and she just committed to that. Ah. Actually, I don't think you killed anybody. No, nah, actually, nah. Let's frame it. This is all a bit strange, but I'm still inclined to believe who you killed Halcyon and Helen. And here I was, beginning to think you wouldn't even accuse me of anything. That is, you found me out, Inspector. Take me away. The hell are you smoking? You seem relieved. Perhaps. The retreat has been flagging in the bit department for some time now, and prison can protect one from creditors. For a time. And that's not the end of it. My many enemies would salivate at the thought of how they could use this to blackmail me out of my productivity secrets. Mm-hmm. Ah. Ah. There. Whatever or not you killed Helen, I think imprisoning you is probably the safest option. Even if you think I'm mad, it doesn't matter. None of this does. I... Yes, yes, I think that's smart. Okay. Congratulations, Mrs. Alia. You're the boss now. Welcome back. I hope you have been keeping positive and productive. How may I help you balance your humors today? Someone running in the back. Okay, I can't tell her that. Oh, he's just he's very disciplined and doing his workouts. Something of interest on here. Holy sprats. Let's not kill them all. Oh, boy. Oh, plasma launch, I don't care. I'm not here for looting anymore. I um, might guess I'm just here for talking. Going silent. I mean, why am I picking this, but let's do it anyways. I don't wanna steal anything anymore. No, not worth it. I mean there were bits in there. That's just tell rooms. Damn, you got some nimble fingers, Captain. Oh. I should take the money. Where's the money, Nyoka? I don't want to look through those. I could... I definitely should sleep and drink. Holy hell. How the hell did that go down so quickly? That's food, by the way. Oh, enemies down there below. Cool. Sleep. Eight hours to go. This will be another area in our episode. Lemon slab, nano spank, my favorite. Nothing quite like a nano spank. As we used to say. It's down in here. Ah yes, the crazies. I remember when. When I lost my mind. Don't I have that hack? Damn it. Hack. Oh, I'm guessing the heavy armor is. Is it, is it the heavy armor again? Weighing me down. Lockpick. Let's see. Yes, it is. Accused for whatever reason. Put the heavy armor bag on. I just need to strip down to nothing to hack stuff. Ah, just loot here. And spreads. Why? Okay, Rizzo. That's why. I was. I'm about to ask myself, why the hell is this a Rizzo lab? But, um, this is a Rizzo bunker. 
Oh boy, so much loot. Seven bits. Move it. Huh. I would have just broken it. Okay, let's come back here in a second. Probably some enemies coming up. Some enemies. Yes. I'm sure that was important. Maybe something else to frame the profit. Where do you lead me? Oh, all the way on top. The wood is almost empty too. But I guess this means we're close to the final of the game. Oh yeah. Look at the Landkrant. Holy hell. Okay, guess that's where she gets her chooses from. this cave no I don't, I don't need those perks I'm good I'm good there's a deck boat The hell is in here? There must be something very cool and special. No, nothing yet. Let's go further. Here they come. Damn it. So bad. So bad! The bat. The bat. The bat. Holy hell. Holy hell. Ooh, no. The bat. Okay, Jay Richard went back. Holy hell. I was about to die. I'm crippled again. That's not good. Oof. Oof. Not cool. That's a tough fight. That's a cool claw. Oh god. The hell is this cave? Why is it so deadly? Gotta repair a lot. 
A lot. There'll be something worth it in here. An eight launcher. Ugh. Too much for it. Ouch. Ouch. I don't see anything worth it. Nothing. Nothing. Ah, okay, this part is over. Uh, it's over. Hey yo, peace out. Next part most likely will be the final episode of this DLC LP.